guys, in this video it's going to be another bark box unboxing, but I'm going to do this one a little different from my previous bark boxes. Those tend to get a little long because I'm working with three dogs that aren't the best behaved, so it's kind of difficult to film those. So what I'm going to do is just unbox the bark box in front of the camera, and then I'm going to show my dogs the stuff, and I'll insert clips of them trying everything so that you can see if they like it or if they don't like it. But if y'all have already seen my previous bark boxes, you know that my dogs love a bark box and they get excited anytime they see a box they automatically assume that every box that I get in the mail is for them and they try to like open it up well Lola tries to like open it up but yeah let me just open up the goodies that are inside so that I can give it to them already because they have been eyeballing this box for a while so <laughs> so the boxes always look so adorable and this month's theme I believe is like a nautical theme so the little paper is nautical and it has hook line and stinker instead of sinker it's a stinker so I thought that was so cute and when you open it up it has all your goodies inside so the first two things that I pull out are these two note cards and I'm pretty familiar with this one because we get this one every month and it just has like information about everything that's in the box and also the retail pricing just in case you wanted to buy it so that is really important because I like to read up on that and see how much everything was and then this one is a rub note from BarkBox and it's just saying um, before you set sail we wanted to share some tips to make sure your pup enjoys their bark box to the absolute fullest this box is certainly a celebration of all things marine time but that doesn't mean you need to reside near the sea to enjoy it the Waba Fetch is a uniquely designed ball that performs best skipping along the surface of body of water which can be a river lake backyard pool or dare we say a bathtub it's not intended to be a chew toy but rather one to be enjoyed during some supervised watery fun anchors away so that's pretty cute that they did that um, it's like a little love note but it says rub note um, and I guess it's uh, referring to one of the toys that are in here which it looks like this one um, it's a Waba Fetch bounces on water and uh, let me grab my card so I can read up on it this is the Waba Fetch toy it retails for ten dollars and it says that it bounces right on top of the water surface so that's pretty cool I'm excited to try this out um, I'm pretty sure Lola would love to play with this in the water I do have to be careful that she doesn't chew on it because she chews up everything um, but it says make a dog's dream come true and it bounces on water so that is really exciting and I'm pretty excited to see how this works on the water the next thing that I'm pulling out is in this little clear wrapping so let me open that up this is the next toy that's in here it's a good karma rope toys by Jackson bones and this retails for $15. This is the Jack and Bones Nautical Wheel Rope Toy. It retails for $15. It's 100% eco-friendly and made from chemical-free, natural dyed cotton thread. Jack's and Bones Toy is machine washable and perfect for tugging, tossing, and whatever else your pup desires. So that retails for $15. This looks like a really good sturdy toy and Alola would love chewing on this. So the next thing that I pull out are Grandma Bowser's Country Oven Biscuits. And these are vitamin enriched dog treats, all natural, preservative free. They're wheat, corn, and soy free. The Savor Cheesy Biscuits are a tasty treat for an afternoon of sea and sun. And these retail for $8. And they look like they're savory cheese flavor and they're made with real cheese. So that is really good. And I really like how they have no preservatives added, no sugar added, no artificial flavor, no salt added, and they're made with real cheese. And the last thing that is in here is Feel Good Treats Seafood Chowder, um, grain free. And these are a gourmet baked treat made from the finest and refreshing herring, white fish, and clam with the coastal regions of the Pacific Northwest. These specialty goodies are custom created only for bark box pups to enjoy. Dig in. And these retail for $8. So these are exclusive for bark box, which is pretty cool. Um, and the ingredients is potato, herring, peas, carrots, and clams. So that is. That sounds pretty good. I'm not really a big seafood person, but I'm pretty sure Lola and Tanner will enjoy these. I'm not sure if Zoe's going to like these, but we will see because Zoe is extremely picky. That was everything in this month's Bark Box. Again, I really like the themes that they have. This one was like a nautical theme. I'll leave all the information down in the description box if you're interested. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Mwah.